I'm Officer Greg, and I look better in the dark. Welcome back to OG's Danger Show. In the dark, pitch black, we've got one hit on the steel target. Welcome back, Original Gangsters. Officer Greg out here with you this evening. The sun is about an hour from going down behind the horizon, but I'm out here at this time of day for a reason. I was recently contacted by a representative from One Leaf Company. They make affordable night vision. Their contact asked if I would be interested in reviewing a piece of night vision equipment. Now. I told you everything I know about night vision when I said hello. I'm not really a night vision guy. I've never really had a much of a need for it. Here in California, you can't hunt at night with night vision. And um, although that might be legal other places in the United States or around the world, we can't do it here. Um, it's always something I wanted to get into. I wanted to be able to defend a you know, ranch, property, wherever uh, at night. And we all know that our bad guys typically work at night. That's when most of our crimes happen. But once the sun goes down, most of us are rather blind. This is called the NV100 Commander. This is the night vision device made by One Leaf. And it's not only a night vision monocular, but it's essentially a night vision uh, video camera and night vision still camera. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of things packed into this, but it gets a little bit cooler. And I wanna show you some of that stuff right over here. So before the sun goes down, I wanted to show you very quickly what comes with the NV100 Commander night vision device. Obviously the night vision device right over here and all of these accessories, I'll walk you through those here in just a second, but check this out. You all saw the video or you should have seen the video on my Delta Team Tactical DD-15 rifle. I told you at the time that it was gonna become a test platform for optics here on the channel and here we are only a couple weeks later it's already being put to use testing out this night vision device. Those of you who saw the Delta Team Tactical video, a lot of people commented on the fact that, oh gee, the factory sent you the muzzle device, not timed, it's not sent in the right place. Uh, Delta Team Tactical didn't do that, that was OG. They sent the flash hider uh, in a little baggie for me to attach because they were not sure about California rules. I screwed the flash hider onto the rifle and didn't uh, properly tighten it down before I started filming the video. So don't blame the company for that. Blame OG, I am a knob. Ugh, idiot. All right, the first thing I noticed when I opened the box, and it was quite a, a decent sized box, One Leaf sent me their Rapid Fire Plus. This is called their Rapid Fire Plus scope. This is pretty much a standard scope. There's nothing super special about this scope. It's a three to 12 power, so a decent power scope. It's a very nicely built scope. Completely aluminum in manufacture, nice turret covers. It's got nice detents for all of its adjustment knobs here. They click into place. They're not just a freewheeling. And you can see here that it's got one eighth minute of angle adjustments. That's actually kind of a um, kind of a rare thing. Most low end scopes that you get these days are coming with one quarter, sometimes one half minute of angle adjustments, but one eighth minute angle adjustments on this scope and I don't know if you can hear that, but you got positive click adjustments on that scope. So that's actually, we won't spend a lot of time reviewing the scope. Just know that one of the things that One Leaf offers is this very nicely made scope and the rings to go with it. It's got a very nice, easy to uh, swivel here, power adjustment knob. It's got a 52, I believe this is a 52 millimeter objective lens here. So it's gonna uh, absorb a whole lot of light in this scope. So it's actually a pretty well-made scope. Um, the purpose of this review is not really to review the scope, but I want you to know what One Leaf also offers out there. So the One Leaf Rapid Fire Plus scope is coming in at right around $200 for a three to 12 power scope that's made as heavy duty as this scope. It's actually a pretty good deal and it comes with the rings too. But the real star of the show is the NV100 
Commander night vision optic. And I'm going to show you the optic as well as the accessories that come along with it right here. So the reason I like this setup is because it's dirt simple. Even a monkey can do it. And when it comes to anything technical, anything that can be screwed up, I am that monkey. The one thing I like about this night vision optic, and I'll show you around this thing here in just a minute. The reason I like this setup is because it very simply, it has, there's little detents here inside the scope. There's also little detents inside of this little ring here. The night vision piece is designed to slip onto the scope and rotate into place with a good solid click. And now I have got a rifle set up with night vision that is hooked onto my regular scope. So I can use the regular scope during the daytime hours and when I need to, very, very easily, I can add the night vision device onto it. Just as easily as putting it on is taking it off. You press this little bit of a spring back here, give it a rotate again, opposite, and it snaps right back off. I'm gonna try and get you in here real close. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep like. And hopefully show you in here the little bit of uh, graduated marks. You might be able to see the little detents in here where uh, the, the night vision monocular camera, well, I don't know what you would call that piece, but the night vision piece interfaces with this scope. Now, and now you might be saying to yourself, oh gee, I already have a rifle scope. I don't want to change over to the uh, Rapid Fire Plus by one leaf. I want to use it my scope. Well, guess what, folks? You can do that. And that brings us down here to the accessories that come with your night vision device. So included in the box with my Rapid Fire Plus scope and the one leaf NV100 Commander night vision device with all of these accessories. First of all, you've got scope caps. I took them off because out here for this test, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but they do protect your scope. They're standard old flip up scope caps, nothing special there. The other thing you're gonna notice here is a very cool, I, I, it took me a minute to figure out what this device was. First of all, it's got dusty paint on it because I just uh, painted the old steel target. This is actually an adapter. This is kind of ingenious. If you want to run your own scope, scope that you already have mounted on your rifle, this adapter, which happens to be labeled 45 millimeter, they also make, I believe it's a 42 and a 48 millimeter. Some other reviewers that have uh, got this package got a, uh, a, three, a pack of three adapters. I only have this one adapter, but really what this does, this mounts onto your scope right here. It's got a little rubber, um, I don't know, eyepiece inside. It's essentially a little aluminum ring, well-made, well-machined ring that slides onto your scope, clink, and you tighten it down using the little uh, adjustment knobs here. So the cool thing about this adapter piece here is that once this is mounted onto your scope, your favorite scope at home, and you don't want to change it over to the Rapid Fire Plus, you take this aluminum, very well-made aluminum adapter, you mount this onto your scope, you tighten it down using these little set screws here, and you have now just made an adapter for your scope. Your night vision device here will now interface with this ring on the back of your scope. And if I can find the right lock up here, snaps into place, click, and you've now got the NV100 device hooked onto your One leaf includes not only your little hex tool, they include two additional rubber eyepieces here. They include a charging cord, we'll get to that part in a minute, an extra aluminum cap that covers that uh, for your battery cover right here underneath this top lens. They include an extra package that has two O-rings, an extra little set screw, and more tools inside. So overall, that's a pretty comprehensive little kit that really gets you started and doesn't really leave anything out. You can pretty much take this thing out of the box, especially if you add the scope. You put the scope together with the night vision device and you are ready to go out and start hunting coyotes or pigs or whatever you want in the middle of the night. All right, so the NV100 Commander night vision device, it's not just a monocular as I mentioned before, it's actually a night vision video camera and night vision still camera. Legal just about all over the world as far as I can tell. Obviously you've got a power button, you've got a zoom button, you've got a menu and play button, we'll go through some of those options here in a minute, and then over here you've got a choice of camera, do you want a still camera or video camera? Up here on top, you have not only a button that, uh, that adjusts the laser on the front, I'll show you the IR laser in a second, but also the view, the screen size inside, how much of field of view you want to see downrange. And then over here, you've got your IR on or off, day, day, and, light, day and night mode. Coming over here to the front, you've got your IR laser. Cool thing about this laser, by pushing in or out 
this little uh, bezel here, you can focus that laser. You can send that laser, or you can send that IR flood beam out even further downrange, or narrow it and uh, make it more specific. That's pretty cool. Down here next to it, you're going to see a visible laser. This is actually a uh, visible laser that you can project downrange to get this whole thing on target. You've got a standard old uh, battery cap here. Nice knurled aluminum battery cap, and I'll show you very briefly here. It's a rechargeable battery that comes with the night vision device, so you don't need to go out and buy yourself even those one, two, three batteries or anything like that. But you might say, oh gee, how do I charge this thing? I didn't realize this was battery operated. Well, of course it is. It's night vision device. Underneath this little rubber cover, it's a waterproof cover. You're going to find a trap door here for an SD card. And one of the things I didn't show you over there on the target was that the NV100 comes with a 32 gig SD card. Also comes with a little charging port here that you use that included cord and a headphones jack. I'm not really sure why you would run headphones on this, but maybe if you wanted to listen downrange, uh, you could, I don't know, listen to yourself breathing heavy when you're shooting. Now, one of the things I didn't mention here is that once your night vision device is attached to your scope, there is a little focusing ring down here, a two-sided focusing ring that makes it very easy for this scope to be adjusted. Because this scope is going to be attached to their Rapid Fire Plus scope tonight, there really isn't a lot of centering going on here. If you were to attach this to your own scope using that little adapter, there's going to be a little bit of a centering thing here that you need to kind of dial in, get that little uh, screen in there dialed into your scope. But because these are both coming from the factory from the same company tonight, um, this should be locked on right away. We shouldn't have to do a lot. But they do give you a focusing knob here to get a clear picture, as well as an objective lens focusing knob back here. So multiple ways of getting this thing dialed onto your rifle scope. But first and foremost, we need that rifle scope to work on our rifle independent of this night vision device. So let's go ahead and head over to the rifle, get it sighted in for 100 yards, and then that way when the sun is completely gone, we'll be able to snap this thing on and get some pictures downrange. Now One Leaf claims their NV100 Commander and their Rapid Fire Plus scope is all waterproof, as it should be if you're out hunting in the elements. So I decided to put that to the test here with the old water bottle test. We thoroughly drenched all the components before testing, and as we would expect, everything worked just fine throughout the duration of this test. One Leaf also makes the bold claim that their scope and night vision device is shockproof, so I decided to put that to the test with jumper cables. I'm joking, folks, I do that here on this channel. I didn't actually shock this with jumper cables, and no, I didn't throw it on the ground to test its actual shockproof status. Well, I lost the audio to this next segment, but you're not so lucky. I'm still going to tell you what happened. I painted up my Challenge Steel targets, and I set them out at 100 yards. I took this barely tested Delta Team Tactical Journeyman rifle and the One Leaf night vision device and scope, mounted them on the rifle, and lo and behold, first shot out of the rifle hit steel at 100 yards. I was actually rather surprised. I've never, ever had that kind of luck mounting a new scope on a new rifle and getting hits out there. I went ahead and put four or five rounds on that steel target before the sun went down just to make sure that I was on steel before turning on the night vision device and really putting this thing through the test. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with that rifle. Uh, kind of a low-end entry-level rifle with a what could be considered a low-end entry-level uh, night vision scope. was able to hit steel very first round. That's not uh, shooter skill. That's just pure dumb luck. I'm not usually that good of a shooter, so let's uh, let's blame the equipment for uh, for that good hit that time and for the ease of use. Okay, I want to record this for you real quick here. As the sun's going down, I want you just to see what this red reticle looks like in here, illuminated, turning it all the way down, all the way up. Obviously, can get too bright. Let's go ahead and dial it down. In fact, I'm going to just uh, dial it off. I find illuminated reticles are often kind of a gimmick. They're actually harder to sight in your target with. Let's go ahead and put in a couple of shots. Right now we are on the color daylight mode. Let's put a couple of shots on our 100 yard guy right there. I don't know if you guys are seeing this as clear as I am, but I'm seeing it pretty dang clear. 
Let's try around on target just to make sure we are there. Rifle is on fire. We are good to go. We got a hit, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but we are right about the chin mouth area. That's a good hit on that challenge steel target. And since it's fun, let's do another one. There we go, right next to the first one, right about the chin level. Good Lord, this is fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch into IR mode as we wait for the sun to go down. We've still got about 20 or 30 minutes before pitch total darkness. Right here, you are seeing a switch from color mode to IR mode. Um, I actually think that's a clearer picture. Does that make any dang sense? We are now in IR mode. We're throwing an IR beam out there, even though we've got some ambient daylight. Okay, using the IR mode, using the IR mode while we are recording, let's go ahead and put rounds on target. See why this black reticle is a little easier to use than a illuminated reticle? Hit right in the center of the forehead. That's 100 yards at dusk. Now I can still see him with my naked eye. He's not all that easy to see anymore. If he wasn't white, probably wouldn't be able to see him down there. So still a good time, though, that we are able to hit this thing in the dark. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save my battery power and shut this thing down. Actually, while I got this thing rocking and rolling in IR mode, let me show you this. There is our visible laser. You guys probably can't. There it is. You see that on the white target? That's our visible red laser projected downrange. Obviously, it's not centered to the reticle crosshairs. But uh, I am able with my naked eye right now, and my eyes are always naked, buddy. I am able to see that red dot right now beaming off of that white target as I move this rifle around. So it's a pretty damn good laser, actually. Let's go ahead and put another couple of rounds on the target with the 12 power scope. Hit. Hit. Wow, that's cool. OK, we're settling in. Let's put a couple rounds on target in near complete darkness. I got a big flash, which is actually just dust coming up off the runway. Uh, but as soon as that clears, I'm good for another shot. If you see, if you safety Karen see a little twinkling light in the background, and you say that I'm shooting at cars, I'm actually going to climb through YouTube right now and choke you. There is a road back there, but I just drove it with my odometer going. It's about six miles away. That's how good the scope is. It's actually picking up twinkling lights from buildings back there. So let's go ahead. One more round on the face. All right. These are good hits at 100 yards. And then and the dust is clearing pretty quick anyway tonight. So I'm not sure if you're able to see out there, but through the dust and the haze, I am getting the target at 200 yards. That was a miss because I pulled too quickly. That was another miss. Real good, OG. Go ahead and brag to the kids out on YouTube land and then can't pull it off. So in between shots, the further out we go like this, the dust is more of a, uh, a factor, the IR. Uh, beam bouncing off of it. Oh, there it is. We hit that with our uh, last round in our magazine. So, folks, that's a steel target at 200 yards away. Uh, we hit it with most of our rounds. We missed a couple. But to 200 yards away in pitch black, I am impressed. 2,000 years later. Okay, here we see some actual tweakers in the wild. 
And there's what happens when car headlights point towards us. We have one individual wearing reflective vest, which the which picks up the IR very very well. Next guy next to him wearing a dark hoodie. These are both at about 200 yards away. Now to the naked eye, it is pitch black out here right now. They can't see me looking at them. And just so you know, I am not pointing a rifle at them, just the scope. Unwad your panties, YouTube Karens. If the scope was hooked to a rifle and these were somehow targets, yes, at 200 yards away, I could make hits on them. The illuminated reticle, I will show you here. I can actually pump that up or down. It becomes a little bit more of a distraction if it's too bright. They're hunkered down in the tall grass out here in the middle of a dark, dark lot. They don't know that I'm watching them, but they're in an IR beam right now. So we can't see exactly what's going down, but something shady. Anyway, there you go. You've seen actual crime in progress on the One Leaf NV100 Commander. Fantastic then. Now they're shining a light down, work, working on a project. They're probably just playing cards or reading the Bible. But should we need this right now, uh, we could actually, this has got a date and time stamp on it. It's got my voice on it as we are describing things. So yes, I guess it's a poor man's version of a scope that could be used by police, I guess. Not the best uh, evidentiary vi uh, video here, but it would work. Okay, so to say I am impressed with this uh, One Leaf NV100 Commander is an understatement. I, uh, I found it very easy to use. It's a very good standalone scope, even if you're not going to use the night vision, but the night vision snaps on there so easily that it's, it's intuitive. Even an idiot can feel, figure it out. I did. This was a very easy piece of equipment to use. I was able to make hits, almost first shots, I think every single time at 100 and 200 yards in what is now pitch blackness. So um, to say I'm impressed, an understatement. Very good piece of equipment. I can highly recommend it. I'll put a link down here in the comment section if it's something you want to pick up for yourself. If you think you can use it uh, maybe for pest predator eradication around your ranch or farm, you got pig problems at night, maybe you just want to watch out for zombies and chupacabras in the middle of the night, um, this is a good setup. Remember, I've got a little over $500 into a, a Delta Team tactical rifle and a little over $500 into this entire night vision setup. So this could be a dedicated nighttime rifle for about $1,100, whereas sometimes you're getting an off the rack basic rifle um, for $1,100, kind of like getting free night vision. I told One Leaf when I when they asked me about doing this review, I told them I was going to give you an honest review. I don't want you wasting your money. I didn't want to waste mine. They shipped this to me uh, for a review and said, whatever you do, if you like it, if you don't like it, either way, just tell us what you think. And uh, I can tell you honestly, 100% honestly, that this is a good piece of equipment here. And I plan on probably, I don't know if it's going to stay on this uh, rifle. This is going to be a test rifle for the show, but it probably will get mounted on one of my ARs as a dedicated nighttime rifle. That's, uh, that's how impressed I am with it. So just keep in mind, you've got a camera, you've got a video camera that, you, that can be used completely independent of the rifle scope, but I kind of like it all hooked together like that. So I don't know. I give it a uh, plus. If I had my druthers, there's a couple of things. It's uh, the battery life could be a little bit longer. Maybe six hours, actual six hours would be great, but buy a couple extra batteries, put them in your pocket. There you go, problem solved. Um, the eye relief was a little tough to get used to at first, but again, I've never used night vision on a rifle scope. So once I got used to it, very easy to accommodate. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for spending a night out here with OG. I know you've always wanted to in the past, and now you got your, a, your wildest dream has come true. But I'm going to pack my trash and head back into town. I've got to get up at 0400 for work, and, um, you know, i got to get to sleep. Beauty rest. So I thank you guys for stopping by. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up in the dark. If you didn't like the video, shh, who asked you? Keep your mouth shut. I appreciate the, the donors over on Patreon. And if you want to help us out, link is in the description below. Thank you very much for stopping by. You guys stay safe out there. Remember, these are dangerous times. And I want you to stay armed wherever you are legally allowed to do so. OG out.